Dave Snyder here. It is August the 4th, 2012, and it is 10.15 Pacific Time. Okay, p.m. Okay, so here we go. What, what I want to show you is a couple things real quick, and then I want to get to the, to the proof of the, that the moon has hit the Earth in just a minute. It's just, I want to show you how you can see where the continents have been throughout uh, Earth's history. I mean, you can use the weather patterns to show you. It's, it's a little... I didn't just use the weather patterns to find this or anything. I, I, I had... I was doing something else before I ever noticed the weather patterns. Let me put it that way. But I was... I, I, it took me a long time to get to this point, but... Okay, the, Mari the Marianas Trench. Okay, Marianas Trench in the ocean. Pacific. Right there, okay. So what I, what I was doing one day was I was putting together the supercontinent, basically, because I know that Asia fits here very well. Okay, you can see all of this stuff fit in, right into place. And then you can see the big circle, which is the Marianas Trench impacts right here. Look at this. Come on. It's a big circle. It's a big circle. Okay, you can see, uh, see how the Himalayas fit right in there? See how or this, this tip fits right in? So I was building, it, building this up. And, and uh, this is before I learned about the weather patterns. Okay, so I, I was building this up, and I had South America in there, and everything was all put together like this, you know. And, but today, I mean, I, I, I did the weather patterns on this a, a few days, or, you know, a while back, but um, today I was doing it, and I left, I had left it on, left South America on here for for a minute, and then I walked out of the room, and, actually more than a minute, but I was walked out of the room for a while, then I came back, and, and the weather patterns, I had the weather patterns on and everything like this, and what happened was I came back in, and there was a big clear streak through here. They had like deleted all my weather throughout this this little section of South America where I had this overlaid. So there was all the weather was around here, but there was a clear stripe through there. And it must have been there for three hours at least. And I was making a video earlier, and it was a real good video. I wish I would have not blew up at the end of it, but anyways, I was making a video. And uh, I, as I was making the video, I was talking about exactly that that stripe. And, I, and as, as, right as I was talking about it, the weather came back. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, after being off for like three hours in that in that whole section, as soon as I started talking about it, it came back on. Couldn't believe it. But look at how the weather patterns fit. Okay, in South America here. Just take a look at how they fit. All the contours, all the lines fit right in. Look at this. Look at this curve right here. All fits right in there very well. Right. Okay, and then the, then with Asia in there, because we can we know Asia. I've showed in my other videos that they had to be layered. They were definitely layered. Anybody want to challenge me on that? I, you know, we can, if you can prove that wrong, I'll, I'll accept your challenge any time. Any of this, if any of this is wrong, I want. I'd like. I've been doing that for a long time, trying to challenge somebody to show me, try to prove it wrong. I mean, I don't think you can. Okay, so here you go. This is with the weather patterns here, and then I put Asia in place. And just look at how the weather patterns fit. And now there's no land here anymore. No land. This is just the ocean. The Marianas Trench is still there. But look at look at the weather patterns. How they fit the, around the Himalayas here, right here, and then through here. This curve here. This curve right here. All these curves. This curve right here. All of it. Watch. It shows that Asia was there at one time, just like that. The Himalayas were there were already there before it was where it is today it's up there today okay well it was here at one time it's obvious that it's clearly you can't get around that, that the weather patterns still fit perfectly to that to that shape of that continent all of it look at the Himalayas how they, the cloud pattern look at look at the pattern still there weather patterns are still hold to that shape today this is live streaming weather. I'm not. It, it, it probably will update during this video. I'm sure it will. It does it like every couple minutes. But look at that. There's no way around that. That that continent had to be right there where that where those clouds are today. Okay. Same with South America. You see them both fit. And and I showed in my other video that the them continents were together at one time. Now I'm going to throw in Australia here. I'm not sure how it's going to do today. But the, I made a video the other day how it was like really. Uh, clear right here that with that date it's not today so we'll see how it fits okay so we see this curve this curve is here for sure 
that one I made the other day was really, really beautiful. It was really nice. Showed it, it, it still fits there. You can still see it fits in there. It's, just, it's holding this curve right here. See, there's no clouds there, but it, it would go all the way. It would continue all the way around at times, I'm sure. Zoom in a little more. Look at that spot right there. See that spot? There's, look at that right there. This curve here. Look at that curve. So this that shows that Australia. Now I I'm not sure if it was here, but it, the the weather pattern shows something was here. That was I mean the last video I made that shows that it shows it it had to be there at one time. I mean had to be. The weather patterns still hold to the same pattern. Okay, so let's just get out of this and, and but anyways you can see the history of of the Earth and where the continents have been at, at other times during Earth's history by using the weather patterns. I absolutely can. I mean there's way more to that too. There's that's just a little sample of what you can do. Okay. So here here we go. This is what, what I've been working on lately is this crater here. This is the best overlay I've like I said this is the best overlay I've done so far I think it, it's the, it absolutely fits perfect perfectly fits look at that oh boy look at them weather patterns fit I had a little bit wet, better weather earlier I wish I would have had that other video and I wouldn't have blew it but oh well I already deleted it but there you go that look at how it fits all in here all the clouds fit right in right in look look at that Every little nook and cranny fits right in. Got something going on with that little. Wow, look at that. You can see there's a circle right here. Look at this circle right there. See that big circle right there? Man, I hope you can see that. Look at that. Look at that circle right there. Okay, now watch the weather. Wow. Big old storm right there. And you can see how there's this, this section here and that section there is the greenest and, and the most intense part of that area. And except for down here, it's even more, even worse. And you can still see that shape there too. That shape is you can see it right in the background. It's a little f out of focus, but I'm using a 42 inch screen, so I'm a little easier for me to see. I think. The bigger the screen you got, the better you're going to see it. Like I said, you can do all this yourself. Same thing I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. That, it's Google Earth. That's all I'm doing. I'm using Google Earth. Doing some overlays. Look at that fit. Incredible. All this too. Look at that. Okay, so anyways, my I've, I've already showed all that already before. Okay, so the th my point is on this one is, okay, so I wasn't sure. There's no labeling on this image that proves that it's from NASA or anything like that, right? So I was a little starting to get a little concerned about whether or not it was. It was true, really the right image, because it seemed. Like, I was getting to the point where it fit in so many places that it seemed like it might have been just some kind of prank or something that someone released out onto the internet. You never know these days, and I mean, still, even with it being, even if it is a government uh, image, it doesn't matter who who's, who can trust them. I don't. I don't trust NASA at all. I, none of them. Nothing, none of them. Even the, the highest levels, I don't trust them, especially these days. So anyway. What I got now is an image that is labeled by the government <clears throat> to show that they are holding back something, or they're the ones playing the, playing the prank. All right. Basically, yeah, that's I mean that's the only choice you have is that either they're they're playing with the images and, and trying to fool people, or they're withholding information that's from us big time about the moon impacting the Earth. I mean, just totally lying to us. So this is the USGS map. From 1978, I've showed it before in a few of my videos. A lot in the past, I used it a lot. U.S. Geological Survey. It's a 1978 image or drawing of the shaded relief map of the Mare Oriental area of the Moon. It's a uh, says something up here about NASA, National Aeronautic and Space Administration, right there. Produced for them. Produced for them. So they didn't produce it, but it was produced for them. Okay. So I mean, come on, it's got to be accurate, right? 1978. Those were the days when well, they they lied. Every they've always been lying. So who knows? Anyways, the weather patterns show this. This is the this crater is the same one as this crater here. 
and it's in the exact same position, and it looks completely different. I know it does. I know that, but that's that's the way they are. I mean, there's <laughs> I don't know. They're both in the exact same position, both the same size. Everything I do believe. <clears throat> it just look. This looks like the center of this this impact on this crater, and this this looks like the center of this impact right here, but they're both lined up together in the same spot. I do believe. Everything seems to line up just right, regardless of that. Let's see. I don't even see that or not. It's hard to see that image, but it, it, it's. I've been pretty sure it's lined up correctly. Okay, so what what we see in this one, this is this being the USGS map, basically. I, I think I got this still lined up. Let's see. Yeah, Florida. Here's Florida, right here. Take a look at take a look at Florida, in this map, shaded relief map. That is Florida, and this this is all the East Coast that goes up this right here. All this is East Coast. It goes all. You see that? Weather patterns. Look at the circular shape right where that circle is. Look, right there where the circle. I mean, and the, they fit in there just perfectly too. Look at this. Even though it's a drawing, it still fits just like that. Same thing. Earlier the weather was a little better too. This was more filled in right on the lines. Now it's drifting a little bit outside the lines right here, but it's still in the lines. So there you go. There's that. Showing that that is in the that is the same. That is a, a, the right image. That this this does fit. This this is the same image as the other one. It's just a drawing. This is an actual image of a, a mosaic of this crater. And so it is real. This is the. This is what it really looks like right there, supposedly. I mean, we don't see that side of the moon, so we don't know, really. There's no way for us to know if, if they're just what they're doing. I mean, really, there's no telling. But we can see that it fits there regardless. It does fit here absolutely perfect. The features are right in the right spot. Everything is right in the right spot, guaranteed. That is a beautiful fit right there of the narrow oriental crater reversed. It's huge. It is huge. It shows the moon as a is bigger than they say. It shows that the moon's hit the Earth a bunch of times, regardless of what they say. You know, the moon being the size that they say and everything. This shows a whole lot different. I mean, you can look look at it yourself. I mean, I'm just trying to show you something that that's. We got to question this. We do. We have to question this. The science. If this is true, the science hasn't changed. And uh, you know, it's just the way it is. I'm sorry for all you scientists that have been lying all this time or whatever maybe you have it but it seems that you have been lying about all all this the moon just because you can't because if you admit that you're that, that this is true then you have to admit that, you, that all the other stuff you said was wrong so that'll never happen I know you guys will never admit you, you were wrong so you just need to be fired for being for being liars basically that's what I see way I see it if this is true then you guys need to be fired for being liars because you guys know this I know you do I know that scientists know this they don't bring it out because it why I mean you got to you can come up with probably a hundred different reasons why they don't tell you and I could I got some really good ones I've shared those already I'm not going to go into that but really we got to question this I'm not. It's not me that's playing any tricks with anybody. I'm. I'm being straight up honest about this whole thing. I just want. I'm tired of being. Look. I, you know what started this whole thing for me? Is right there where we were. We started the video right there at the Marianas Trench. I watched an episode of How the Earth Was Made, and I've watched every episode of How the Earth Was Made. Every every episode probably ten times. Every episode, all three seasons, all of them, ten times each episode probably. Some of them a couple more than that maybe. Because they. And every time they leave, they leave me hanging. They just leave you hanging with no answers. They say the Earth was going through violent tectonic forces at the time. Well, what were they? What, why was it going through that? What? What? Come on, give us a more, a better answer than that. What, just, it just all. I said, that's it was just going through that at that time. Come on, give me a break. Then they had the episode about the Marianas Trench and deep, being the deepest place on the Earth. And then I, I never really paid attention to the Earth before, looked at the shapes or any of it ever. Okay, in my life until that episode when I. I, they said, it was, you know, I had to look at it. I looked at it from above to see why it was the deepest place on the earth. And give me a break, people. You can see it's a big impact. It's not plate tectonics and, and subduction. It creates the, 
the trench. It's it might be go that might be happening now, sure. But what creates the the subduction is not plate tectonics. It's moon impacting the Earth. I mean, I, look, I just showed you Asia there. I just showed you Asia in South America with the weather weather patterns fitting it, and I showed you I've showed you all over here in my video called uh, Common Sense Geologic History of the Earth and the Moon. Where there's about eight impacts around South America, being in, over in that spot. So it hits here a whole bunch of times. So I don't know. I, I, I like I said, I challenge anybody to prove me wrong. I want someone to prove me wrong. I really do. But I don't think you can. I really don't. There's no way. The, the, the evidence shows it. The, the, the photographic, the images show it. Okay, either that or the government's messing with all of our heads or mine at least you get most people don't even care I mean that's that's the whole deal there's people watch this video and most people don't even care they don't even care you know it's just you know it doesn't it's just another thing big deal to them you know it's, they, they got their life no big deal just you know so what I've been lied to all my life about about the moon and the earth big deal you know just let it keep let it continue on let it just keep continuing on so your kids and their kids and their, and their kids keep getting lied to too so that they're all, you know, why change it, why, right? Why, why interrupt? Why interfere with the system the way it is, right? Who would want to change and fire all the, fire all the scientists that have been lying all this time? I mean, why change it, right? No big deal. Just tell them lies. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm good with that. <sighs> Whatever. You know, if you want, if you want your kids to learn a bunch of lies, just like we've been being told, go ahead. I mean, there's it, you only have two choices: you, either the moon's hit the earth, or someone, or the government's messing with us. Okay, the, the images show that it's hit the earth a bunch of times, and and you know, and I know it, and you know it, and they know it. So if you want to just keep living a lie, then just don't do nothing about it. Don't you know? No big deal. I'm I've, I'm different. I just you know that's what got me started was the being left hanging and, and being told lies about everything uh, how the earth was made. Okay, the Earth was not made that way. Look at the look at the circles. You, 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 what, you're going to tell me that circle's from a meteor or an asteroid? That big 3,000 mile across circle right there? Come on, that's 2,500 miles right there. Tycho hits right here. Jackson hits right here. It just gets me fired up, man. I really, I got to stop this video right now because it just, you know, I, I, I'm tired of it. There's got to be an answer for it. I, someone needs to try to prove me wrong. I challenge anybody, anybody to, to prove me wrong. And I'll end it right there. Thank you for watching. Comment. I want to see your comments. I want to see what you think. I mean, you know, if, uh, even if you think I'm full of shit, don't, you don't have to say I'm full of shit. Just say you don't agree. But, you know, all right. Have a good day.